everyone, I'm Suzanne. I'm here with you today to take you through a Legree themed uh, Pilates class today. So if you're not familiar with Legree, it's generally performed on a mega reformer, but we're taking this workout to the floor today. For equipment, water bottles so you can grab some water on your breaks, a mat if you have one available, if not, find a towel or just something a little bit soft to lie down on a little bit later. And you have options to go with bare feet, um, Pilates socks with the little grippy uh, dots on the bottom if you have those. Or if you wanna level up that workout, we have a couple options for you. So you can add in sliders. I have a set here, but I actually prefer to use something that most people have around your home. And that would be just taking a couple dish cloths or tea towels um, and folding them up to form your slider. So I have a set here, I have two today. You just fold them in half and then again in half and this will act as our slider today. So it'll allow you to level up that workout, it'll create a little extra challenge for you. With that said, let's get started. We're gonna have a short warm up, so just a couple minutes. If you do feel like you need a little bit more time to warm up, I would hit pause and then you can add in a little bit more warm up time to the workout. It's a short 30 minutes today. We have three blocks of work and we are going to fire up that glute. We're working on posterior chain. Legree method is based off a of time under tension, so performing exercises for a longer period of time. We're gonna Im incorporate some micro pulsing and some pulse to holds, and that will re really allow you to get the full benefit from your workout today. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our icebreaker. So grab your mat, it's out in front of you here, and what I want you to do is form a really, really strong strong foundation. We're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up first. So here we go, let's drop our hands down to our knees, heels together, we're gonna to start circling, just tiny little rotations around in one direction. We're starting to warm up the legs, get that heart beating a little bit faster. We're engaging our core, so I want your shoulders down, away from the ears, let's go in that other direction. So just the other way, circles start to get a little bit bigger. Whole time we want that core awareness. So belly button is locked into the spine. We have a neutral gaze, so looking straight in front of you, shoulders down, away from the ears. Let's bring it up to a shoulder roll. So rolling back, shoulders up towards the ears, down towards the spine. Once again, working to warm up that upper half. We're gonna go in the other direction in two more. So starting to feel your upper body warm up and release other direction we're going to move into bigger arm circles both directions a couple of air squats a couple squats where we add in our arms and that's our warm-up here we go bigger arm circles reaching up pointing your fingertips towards the ceiling weight is on the heels you're able to wiggle around those toes legs about hip distance apart let's go the other direction good beautiful Starting to breathe a little bit heavier. You're doing so good. All right, here we go. Let's just head into some air squats. Legs hip distance apart, weight is in the heels. We're tracking our knee inside of our toe line. So always super important to squat back and down. Good. Let's add in some disco arms. So lift your arms, coming up to a V, sitting back and down. All right, let's get started with this warm up. Your first block is about seven minutes or so. So we're gonna come down to the mat into an icebreaker. So down on the knees, shins are nice and flat into the mat. Wanna create that nice solid foundation. So fingertips are nice and open and we're gonna get the timer going. All right, here we go. Flat hands, shoulders stacked above your hands, legs hip distance apart. I want you to press yourself back slowly for four, three, two, one and pull it in for four, three, two, one. It's a little tiny micro movement for four, three, two, one. You have 25 seconds left. I want you to tuck your belly button into your spine. Neutral gaze so you're looking straight ahead. You are pulling yourself using, activating those lat muscles. So those muscles under your Armpits in the back, slow and control, 10 seconds. We're gonna move right into cat to cow. So if you want, you can take a 10 to 15 second break. I'm gonna keep on rolling through. 
This method of workout is fast. It's fast, we're always moving. Keep your hands where they are. I want you to tuck your chin into your chest as you round your back. You're looking down into your belly button and we are rising, coming nice and flat. Looking up towards the ceiling, stretching it out and coming back for four, three, two, one, and other direction for four, three, two, one. This is a core exercise. You're using your core to crunch that rib cage in, looking down towards your belly button, crunching that chin all the way to your chest. As soon as you get there, we're moving in the other direction. We are almost there, so close. You have another 20 seconds left. You should be feeling that heat starting to bubble in the core, slow and smooth. We're always looking to move on that four count or even slightly slower. We're moving into our next move now. We're gonna grab your sliders or those dish cloths and we're gonna put them down on the mat on our hands. Legs are hip distance apart, shins are pressed into that mat. Nice wide palms create that strong foundation, shoulders stacking above the hands. We're gonna press it out for four, three, two, one. Nice and long, drag it in for four, three, two, one. Keeping your belly muscles engaged the whole time. Shoulders away from the ears, nice flat back. Shins are pressed into the mat. Drag it in, you have 15 seconds left. Those belly muscles are starting to get fired up. Give me 10 more seconds, keep it slow and controlled, nice and long, squeeze that core, drag it in, squeezing your butt cheeks at the same time. We're gonna flip over onto our back in three, two, one. All right, we can move those sliders. We're moving into a mega roll down. So, feet are on the mat. Hands are at the temple or across the chest. We're coming down for a slow four, three, two, one. And lift four, three, two, one. Lifting the chest nice and high. We never come to a fully seated position and we also wanna keep a little distance between our shoulders and the floor. So always keeping those core muscles engaged. Next time we come down, I want you to stay down and pulse and hold. We're gonna stay here and pulse it out for five, four, three, two. Just tiny little micro pulses, bring it up. Come up and back down for four, three, two, one. And up for four, three, two, one. Coming down one last time for a micro pulse and hold. It's a little bit longer. It's 15 seconds, stay here. If the micro pulse is too much for you, just stay here and hold. Stay, breathe, shoulders down away from the ears in four, three, two, one. Next move is bear. So we're gonna come to bear position. We're gonna slide those two little tea towels under your feet, on the balls of your feet. We are coming into bear, it's high plank, to your knees bent. Your knees are bent right around that hip line. Get ready to drag in your knees in four, three, two, one, and press it out for four, three, two. Nice and long up on the toes, core stays strong for four, three, two, one. Slow and in control, press it out for four, three, two, one. We want those shoulders stacked above the hands belly button tucked into your spine. Neutral gaze looking straight down at that mat. Drag it in slow and smooth. Almost there, stay with me in five, four, three, two, and you are there. Drop down your knees. You can move those sliders. We are coming into plank. All right, high plank or low plank. If you're in low plank, hands are at the 11 o'clock position. Palms are flat. We have that nice long line from the top of the head to the base of the spine, squeezing your cheeks together and breathing. Big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe. 15 seconds left. Stay here, push through that shaking. Use your breath and you have five, four, three, two, knees down. 
First block of work complete. You can move your mat off to the side. We're not gonna use it for block number two. We are moving to our standing leg series. First move is your elevator lunge. Left leg, grab that little tea towel or dish cloth or sliders, or you can just use your toe without any equipment at all. We're going back for four, three, hang on one second, four, three, two, nice and long, drag it up for four, three, two, one. If you don't wanna use that slider, you can ditch it, just use your toe for four, three, two, nice and long, bring it up for four, three, two, one. Keep moving down. Next time we come down, we're gonna stay down here in micro pulse for five, four, three, two, and up for four, three, two, one. And back down for four, three, two, one. Weight is on that front heel. You're able to move those toes around. We're coming down one more time. We're gonna stay down. We're gonna micro pulse or hold. So stay here, hold or add in a little tiny micro pulse. We're here for 10 more seconds. Front foot, weight is on the heel. You're able to move that toe around, knee tracking inside of that toe line. Chest is lifted, shoulders away from the ears. In three, two, one, lift. All right, next move is your skater. Grab that dishcloth if you want to use it, or you can just use your sock or your toe. We're sliding out for four, three, two, one, and in. Squeezing your inner thighs together. Big squeeze, rise for four, three, two, one, and lift. Shoulders away from the ears. Neutral gaze looking straight ahead, sliding out. Knee is fairly straight, little softness in that knee. Back and forth for four, three, two, one. You're almost there. Give me one more of those. We're moving into our next move. Squat to clamshell for four, three, two, one, and drag it up nice and tall. All right, squat to clamshell. If you want to level up, you're gonna grab a band, put it around just above your knees, or just wait on the heels, legs hip distance apart. We're gonna come down in five, four, three, two, here we go, down for four, three, two, one, and back up for four, three, two, one. Super slow and controlled. All right, this time when we're down, we're clamshelling for two, Belly is tight, chest is lifted, bring it up slow and control. Here we go, back and down for four, three, two. Get nice and low, knees tracking inside of that toe line, add in that double clamshell, up for four, three, two, here we go, down. We have a little piece of string at the top of your head, dipping you down slowly, pulling you up nice and tall, shoulders down away from the ears. Belly muscles are engaged inside of 20 seconds. Slow and control, slow that down. Always when you start to feel the work, there's a tendency to get a little bit fast. So keep it slow and smooth. Weight on those heels inside of 10 seconds. Stay with me, we have bowlers coming up next. All right, last one. Shake it out. Bowlers, it looks like this. So nice tight cross of that left leg. We come down, we pulse for two, we tap and we repeat. Join me when you're ready. Timer starts in three, two, one. A little extra work for you. Down, pulse for two, lift and tap that toe. If you wanna add a little bit of extra work to this, you have an option to kick. Pulse for two, come up and kick. So with or without the kick, your choice. Pulse it out for two and point that toe inside of 30 seconds. We got one more move and then we are switching sides. So this is the last of it for that standing leg series. Down, cross that leg, pulse for two. Point that toe up. Down, make sure that knee stays inside of that toe line. We're sitting back in five, four, three, two, little break. 
Grab some water, grab some air. We're doing that on the other side. All right, so heart rate is up, yes. We get our heart rate up even though we're moving in that slow, controlled, time under tension movement. Back to your elevator lunge. Press it back. We're going in five, four, three, two, back for four, three, two, nice and long, up for four, three, two, reset, down, shoulders down away from the ears. Is your belly button tucked into your spine? Are you up on the back toe? Front leg, left leg, heel. That is where you want the weight. You should be able to wiggle around your toes. We have just over 10 seconds. Come down for four, three, two, one, and bring it up one last time. We're moving into that skater, so we're skating to the right for four, three, two, nice and low. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Even though the right leg is working right now, the left is actually your working leg. So we're feeling most of the work in this left glute cheek. Press it out for four, three, two, nice and long, drag it in. Leg is fairly straight. There's a little softness in that knee for four, three, two, and squeeze together. Almost there, we're so close. We have our second squat series coming up next. It's your last time you're gonna be squatting today. Give me a couple more. Here we go, nice and long, four, three, two, and squeeze, drag it together, squeezing those inner thighs, feeling that work also in the inner thighs and that glute in three, two, one. All right, you can ditch your slider, legs hip distance apart, toes turned out slightly, we're coming down to the basement for four, three, two, micro pulse for five, four, three, two, and rise for four, three, two, nice and tall. Come on down for four, three, two. Can you get a little bit lower? Pulse it out for five, four, three, two. Really feeling that work. Bring it up slow and smooth. Little tiny micro movements. If anything, I want you to go a little bit slower than four rather than fast. Pulse it out five, four, three, Two, there it is, there's that burn, up super slow. Nice and tall, keep those shoulders down, keep your tummy muscles engaged. You have 10 more seconds, stay down. We're gonna pulse here for 10 seconds. Last little micro pulse, weight is on the heels, knee tracking inside of that toe line. In three, two, a little break. Whoo! All right, you guys are doing so good. We have about 10 minutes left. So grab some water, grab some air. We are moving to our lying down leg series. So we're gonna lie down. If you wanna level up your workout and you happen to have ankle weights, you can put an ankle weight on that left foot. It's just gonna add a little bit more challenge to the work. All right, come on down. You're lying down on your side. You can be up on the elbow or you can come right down. It's up to you, I like to come up a little bit. We're gonna drag our leg over to our hip line. We're gonna pulse it out and bring it back. All right, are you ready? In five, four, three, two, here we go. In nice and slow up to that hip line. Want you to pulse up for two, bring it back slow and controlled. Belly button is tucked in, neutral gaze, so looking in front, pulse up for two and drag it back slow and controlled. All right, now that you got the hang of it, we pulse back here for two, up to the front for two. So forward, back, pulse. You still have 40 seconds left. Next time we bring our leg in front of us to that hip line, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna pulse up for 10 seconds. Pulse it up, 10 seconds. Tiny little micro pulses, stay here. Stay in the work in three, two, one. You still got 25 seconds back. Pulse back for two, front for two. You got this, almost there. Next move is fire hydrants. So we're gonna get up on our hands and knees. Bring your leg forward one last time and micro pulse. We're here for 15 seconds, so a little bit longer. Big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. In five, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, you're there. All right, we want that nice strong foundation, wide fingers, hands down, stacking your shoulders above your hands. Knees are about hip distance apart. We have a nice flat back. We're gonna come up and pulse for two. Fire hydrants, bring that knee up, pulse for two and drop. Good. We're gonna stay here for a little while and then we're gonna add in longer micro pulsing. In five seconds, we're gonna stay up and we're gonna pulse it a little bit longer. All right, stay up here, hold, pulse it out. 10 seconds, leading with that knee in five, four, three, two. Bring it back in, back up to that pulse for two and down. Bring it up, pulse for two. You got it, you got the hang of it. All right, next time we come up, we're staying up, we're pulsing for 15 seconds. Stay here, breathe, big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. You got this. In five, four, three, two. Keep that leg up, moving to donkey. So we're coming to our chest, pressing up for two, back in. Micro pulse for two, leading with that heel. heel. Shoulders stay stacked above the hands. You got this, just over 30 seconds. Leg stays up the whole time. You're almost there. Knee to chest. Keep your belly nice and tight. So tucking that belly button into your spine. Big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. You got this. We're almost there. We have one more move after this. It's a 90 degree pulse. We're gonna stay right here and we're gonna pulse it out for 30 seconds. Flip over. To the other side and that's a wrap all right in three two here we go lift that leg up leading with the heel we are micro pulsing for 30 seconds so nice and strong flat back neutral gaze looking down towards the mat 20 seconds left tiny little pulses stay here you're feeling this in your right glute cheek likely you are so close all right last 10 seconds stay with me Keep your belly engaged in five, four, three, two, and we are there. All right, a little child's pose. Give it a little break, and we're gonna do that on the other side. So back down onto the other side. You can be up on your elbow or come on down. Here we go, forward and back. Just get that movement, that range of motion going. Now we're gonna add in that double pulse. Pulse forward. Pulse back for two. Good. Beautiful job. You're so close inside of five minutes. It's short, but effective. You're likely feeling this in that posterior chain. Next time you come forward to the hip, let's pulse it up and down for 10 seconds. Little tiny micro pulses in three, two, and we're going back. Pulse it back for two, front for two, there it is, there's that fire, I'm feeling it. Inside of 30 seconds, you got this. Couple longer micro pulses coming, and then we have a new move. We're back to those fire hydrants. All right, next time you come to the hip line, let's stay here. We're gonna pulse it out a little bit longer. Stay with me, tiny little micro pulses up and down. You got 10 seconds left, just stay and breathe. Good, all right, here we go, countdown is on in five. Four, three, two, right away. We flip over, staying in the work. Strong foundation, palms down, shoulders stacked above the hands. Up to that fire hydrant, double pulse. Good, you got this. We're inside of 60 seconds. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it too. Reset your body, so I want you looking down, neutral gaze. Keep those shoulders stacked above the hands, nice flat back. Let's bring it up and pulse it out for 10. 10 seconds, leading with that knee, keeping the back flat. In five, four, three, two, you're there. Bring it in, double micro pulse. We're so close, inside of 30 seconds. I'm with you, I'm feeling this too. Almost there. Keep breathing, stay in the work. Yes, you can, you got this. All right, we're gonna bring it up for one more pulse. It's a long one, it's 15 seconds. Stay here and pulse it out. Tiny little movements. If the pulsing's too much, just hold. You don't need to add in the pulse. We have five, four, three, two. All right, 
Keep that leg up. Here we go. We're moving to that donkey. So knee to chest, press it up, pulse for two. Last little bit of work here, last couple minutes. Keep that back flat. Restack your shoulders above your hands. You're almost there. So good, guys. Keep breathing. Core engaged the whole time. So make sure you're nice and strong in that belly region. Feeling this in that left glute. You are inside of 20 seconds. We got that 90 degree pulse to finish it off. And then a quick stretch and you're on your way. All right, ready? In three, two, bring it up and pulse it out. All right, it's 30 seconds. Stay here, 90 degree pulse, leading with that heel. Tiny little micro movements. Keep breathing. You have just under 20 seconds here. Last of the effort, stay in it. Don't cut out now. You got this. In 10 seconds, it's a wrap. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, bring it down. All right, child's pose, stretch it out. Wide knees, come on down. And now walk your fingertips forward and breathe. Calm your breathing, big sips of air in through the nose, out through the mouth. When you're ready, bring it up. We're gonna sit, heels together. Sitting up nice and tall, so brace that belly, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna press it out. Good. Breathing is starting to come back down to normal. One leg out, soften the knee. Let's reach forward. All right, let's twist over to the side. Big sip of air, inhale through the nose, out through the mouth, twist a little bit deeper. And let's do that on the other side. So leg out, little softness in the knee, come forward. All right, bring it up, let's twist over to the side. Good. All right. When you're ready, you can stand up. Give it a nice big shoulder roll. You did a great job today. That is your 30-minute express Legree-themed Pilates class. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Have a great day and take care.